okay, I know this sleeve is very wrinkled, but I really don't feel like changing my shirt. So here we go. Hi guys. So I like to watch on YouTube these um, like debate panels where they bring two groups of wildly different opposing views, like they'll have pro-life and pro-choice meet together and discuss politics, um, or you know, Christians and atheists meet to discuss religion and politics again. Um, so they're usually political videos, but anyway, I enjoy watching them um, because I usually walk away learning something and if nothing else, it's just entertaining to hear people with such different opinions communicate and you can tell that they get frustrated but for the most part I have to say they actually stay pretty civil and polite and diplomatic. So when YouTube uh, put in my little recommended list a panel of LGBT conservatives versus LGBT liberals I was like I have to watch this. Now this one was not as civil <laughs> which I'll get into um, but definitely a lot more tense. Leave it to the gays. Leave it to the gays and the, and the trans people to like get in their feelings during the debate and, and like pounce on each other. Um, but I guess I just wanted to reflect on this uh, because I, I walked away with a lot of thoughts and I walked away kind of feeling uneasy, which is not ideal. So I want to see what you guys think about it. I'm going to put the link to the video in the description box of this video. There's a condensed version that has kind of like the highlights um, that Vice, the, the, the channel that put this out, that they put together. But I'm also going to put the links for the full panel, which I think was like about an hour, 40, 40 minutes to 60 minutes. So if you're interested, just go to the description box and um, you can you can watch it for yourself. But I'm gonna just kind of like dissect a few specific parts. So to start off, they introduce everybody, right? Which is what they always do in these panels. Um, it, it makes sense, they introduce everybody. And here, because it's LGBT people, they say, you know, I tell us where you identify on the spectrum and you know, which pronouns we should use to, to refer to you. So here's a little clip of that. Pansexual or bisexual man. My name is Blair, I'm transgender, and I'm a Republican. Okay. My name is Caleb, I use he, she, and they pronouns, and I identify as a non-binary queer. My name is Jamie, I use they, them pronouns, I identify as a queer, non-binary, trans femme. Um, I also identify in the ace spectrum of asexuality. So they do this with, you know, all 10 or 12 of the, of the people there, and by the end you're kind of like, I already need a break, like I already need to like go to the bathroom or like I need an intermission. Um, it's a lot and, and I, obviously people should identify how they want to identify, but um, this was my first kind of instinct that I was like, this is such a bubble conversation and you know, with these, with these kinds of YouTube videos, I always imagine how many people who are not in this bubble feel like watching. Like, I don't even feel fully in this bubble. I don't really have conversations that often where people are like, which pronouns do you, do you want to use? So for me to feel like this is a bubble within a bubble of LGBT, I can only imagine what outsiders who have no reference for gay people or trans people, or who might not have the friendliest thoughts about LGBT people, I wonder, I only wonder what they think. Because this already starts to like isolate you, right? If you're not in this, this little universe. So throughout this video, they talk about, you know, the 2020 election, they ask who voted for Trump. Uh, totally unsurprising to me that the two guys wearing MAGA hats are presumably white men, uh, gay men, but white men nonetheless. One of them later says that his last name is Ramirez, so obviously he's not completely white, but for all intents and purposes, the average person seeing him walk down the street would assume he's white, right? So, you know, irony not lost on me with that, that they would be the ones wearing the MAGA hats. And I think, you know, this also, of course, is Vice, you know, planting sort of more extreme personalities in the video for the sake of views, right? I mean, I get it, they, they want to, increase how many views they get, they make money off of this, it's it's publicity for them, um, they get more subscribers on YouTube, so they of course are going to put people with intense points of views who are very expressive, very passionate, and who are maybe at more of like the extremes of the this political spectrum of LGBT people, they're going to want to use these people, right? So, I mean, it's kind of the motley crew here, we have a trans Republican, which I didn't even know was like a 
possibility. I thought I thought that that was like an oxymoron. And you got the two gay guys wearing MAGA hats. You got a gay black Republican. And then you got a whole hodgepodge of people who use a lot of fancy terms to refer to themselves. So as I mentioned earlier, the debate gets tense. Like there are a few moments where it gets personal. I also don't have this privilege and I don't have your privilege as a man moving through the world. So like, but you that don't, matters. You don't know my life. Now. You don't know my experiences. You're basic, you're you're making an assumption about my not, life and my experience. I am not based making off of my skin color, right? Based I off know, my sexual orientation. I know. And aren't we not I supposed know what to be doing real, that? Okay. I know aren't what we is not real supposed to be doing right? that? Right? Oh. In one moment, this trans woman tells somebody else who identifies as non-binary and trans that they're not really trans because their experience is different from theirs. And it, it becomes heated. I think you're the one that said that I was erasing um, you as trans. I, I am. Like, you're not trans. Like, there's a medical definition of being a transsexual and being... But what if those non-binary people do suffer from gender dysphoria? Show me how you do it. I mean... Yeah. That doesn't make you trans to just suffer from gender dysphoria. Being trans is having gender dysphoria and acting upon it to live a life as a transsexual. Think... I think that's different. I'm I'm gonna stop you. Jamie, how are you doing? I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah. Do you feel like talking? You don't have to. Okay. Now, this moment, coupled with this other moment... Identify as non-binary and trans at the same time. Um, I believe non-binary is under the trans umbrella. Non-binary for me means that I don't identify as a man or a woman. Um, I'm neither, I am both, I am beyond. I couldn't help but be entertained, but at the same time, I cringe because I think, again, who is watching this video who is not gay, not necessarily LGBT friendly, they're seeing this and it's kind of like a mockery, in my mind. Like, how, how can somebody who's on the outside watching, hoping maybe to learn something, or in some cases maybe just to look to reinforce their views, their negative views, or their judgmental views of LGBT people, this totally is like firewood for them. It's not a good representation for, for LGBT people to have someone say, I am both genders, I am neither, I am beyond. It just sounds ridiculous. And if we're really trying to push for equality, and not just on a legal level, but on a psychological level, to be treated as equals and to be, to be considered a part of the majority, we can't be saying shit like this, and and this can't be promoted, this kind of viewpoint. And I understand that if this person exists, this Jamie character, then other people like that exist too. But these aren't the people we should have at the forefront of the, the conversation. I'm sorry, I know that, that that sounds probably harsh. And that was the ironic thing for me of watching this video. I found myself constantly agreeing and aligning myself with the conservatives, which is like, I'm the most liberal person politically, culturally, socially, whatever. So the fact that they resonated with me the most, the conservatives in this video, I was like something, that's when you know something is wrong. But I do think that they were right in this video that the more we use these terms to over-intellectualize these identity politics, the more we isolate the people we're seeking acceptance from and who at the end of the day have the ability to vote for or against our rights and our equality. And the other issue with these terms like non-binary and cis and all this stuff is that once you start using those words, now you're labeling other people, not just LGBT people, not just yourself and other LGBT people, you're now labeling people outside of this bubble who for a lot of them are already kind of overwhelmed and this is all new to them and they're learning. But to then throw these words at them that are implicitly labeling them too, is only gonna further isolate people and freak people out and be like, whoa, like this is this is a little bubble that like is so foreign to me, it's scary, I don't wanna be associated with it. So I walked away from this video kind of like frustrated because these are interesting conversations and it's always fascinating for me to hear gay Repo or LGBT Republicans speaking about their views because it's it's so foreign to the way that I, I think and I, I just can't wrap my head around any minority, any person from any minority group voting for somebody like Donald Trump and standing by that without any kind of shame. So it's interesting for me to watch a video like this and I think it's interesting for other people to see it, but I walked away kind of like flustered and cringing that I was like, I don't want people from the outside viewing this and, and it reinforcing their views that like LGBT people, gay people, trans, they're like, 
they're too nutty for me. Like this is a different universe. As always, super curious to hear what you guys think, whether you've seen this video or you're just hearing about it for the first time and you know, what your initial reaction is, I guess, to, to my interpretation of these clips.